Oh, I don't have any. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Boss Pachirisu, don't really care. Oh, there we go. Ooh, an ultra chest. Can you, can go, definitely go for that. I think it's that one that's right over there. Oh my god, the game's actually listening to me. It's, it's such a, it's such a miracle. It's actually listening to me. It's making sure it doesn't draw those freaking lines that I hate so much. What tends to happen, maybe it's just a single player thing, I don't know. But like, whenever I try to like, go on a single player, or whatever time I tried to go on my single player world, they kept drawing the lines and I'm like, no, remove them. And then the next time I would log back in, it's like, okay, we're going to go slip on them in again. It's like, no, stop that. All right, so let's see what we got over here. Ooh. Okay, I don't know where we're needing to go, but there we go. Ooh, we're so far climbing the treetops. Staying on the treetops. Oh no, no longer on the treetops. <laughs> Anymore. Ooh, is this what I think it is? No, never mind. I thought it was like an island in the middle of a, like a lake area kind of thing. I was like, ooh, that sound that looks pretty interesting. And I know we're really, really far away. We're probably never going back. And that's the most like unfortunate thing that's actually going to be actually realistic about this is that I'll never find my way back. And we'll probably never go back anyway. But that's why we have the whole uh, you can teleport back to your base thing. Is because you could definitely get lost here. And we're trying to... Uh, and we also don't want people to necessarily like have to literally die just to get back to the base. Or get back to their sort of like home base kind of thing. We do have keep inventory on just for any like sort of like surprise things. Like the whole lava situation... Uh, from the gym the first time. Or somehow, like, something knocked us in. Like, it's to kind of, like, make sure that when something like that happens, you don't go, like, oh, man, like, that's unfair. And, and it's like, now I lost all my stuff. It's like, well, technically you didn't. Have a Pokemon Center over here, nice. I'll just go heal up. I'm glad that we haven't seen the most annoying thing about, like, world generation so far. I don't think I've seen one yet. Which is kind of awesome, actually, to be fair. Then again, I want to spawn one in the... Uh, at, like, what we're going to call, like, the center town kind of thing, or, like, the, the village. Of great proportions kind of thing. I think that what we might end up doing is that we'll just make, like, the big town be, like, an island or something like that. Like, an island, like, similar to, like, what that one kind of is. Like, it just has, like, a Pokemon Center, a Pokemart, and it'll have, like, a trainer that'll help you, like, EV train, maybe, if you want some EV training uh, people. We'll have to kind of 
script a trainer for that. Which you can in the creative mode menu. There's uh, there's something called, uh, I think it's like an NPC editor, which I really want to do. Because I definitely want something like that. So they'll like, um, there'll be like a main center area where everybody can go to kind of thing. The only thing is that like for like to use those EV trainers, I want it. I want to have it so that like you have to pay polka dollars to use them. But I don't know if you can do that, if that makes sense. And I also want it so though, like there's also one uh, like villager that will like revert all your EV training, similar to how if you if you have the Isle of Armor, there's like one individual like person like uh there that's close to i think it was like the the is it the train station i think uh where they will uh like they take like 10 armorite ores and then they'll uh and they'll do it or maybe i'll just make it like armorite ores as the currency that they'll take or something like that i think that might be a pretty cool idea I definitely don't want anything vanilla, or if it's vanilla, like if they'll if they'll take diamonds kind of thing, or if you can make them take diamonds. Like if they take diamonds, like you have to make sh like I have to make sure that you can't farm for them though, and because villagers don't technically exist in one point twelve, and I'm guessing though that if they were to do a newer version, I think they are beta testing or something like that for one point sixteen. So if that version, uh, they don't, I can't eat this one. That's weird. Okay. Well, I can't eat that one. I'm just going to eat the golden apple because I don't care. And regeneration's fun. Hmm. Oh, we got a village. Oh, we got another fire gem. Cool. Uh, depending on the level, we can probably go do that right now. But I'm hoping we can have uh, something else, to be fair. Uh, please tell me that you have evolutionary stones. Your alternate trade. Ooh. Okay, so I wanted this too. That's a lot of money for a booster pack, man. Jeez. You have anything cool? No, you don't have anything cool either. You guys suck. You guys don't have anything cool for me. Okay, what level is your po guys' Pokemon? By any chance, because if it's too much, I don't mind backing out. Where's the entrance to this place? All right, what level are you guys? Forty. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> I was like, oh, but you have Greninja. Yeah, I have Greninja, but Greninja that's that's nine levels lower is not gonna really do much. Hey, you could evolve to Surfetched, but you would have to you have to get three critical hits in one battle, and that's that ain't happening. Uh, let's see here. I think I should have a bed in here. Yeah, let's go sleep. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, something that we'll also do is that we'll have uh, a teleport mod that will allow you to uh, teleport to spawn by just going like, uh, like slash spawn will allow you to go to spawn and stuff. 
and we'll have one that it'll be like a slash home kind of thing but like we'll have one for spawn and we'll have one for home so if you go to slash spawn you go to like spawn itself if you go to slash home you can set it to your home or whatever which i think would make uh backtracking at least a little bit easier A Venusaur. It's a Mega Venusaur, too. Uh, no, thank you. I don't think I can t handle a, a Mega Venusaur. Although, if I were to actually end up beating it, I think if you beat up a Mega Boss, you're able to get a you're able to get a Mega Bracelet. Like you're able to obtain Mega Evolution. Which is actually going to be very, very cool to use. Now, I am... Okay. Cool story, Ladyba. Ooh, wise glasses. That's actually pretty good for a hound hour. Nope, trying to go around. There we go. And just trying to explore a little bit around, you know, just trying to see anything. Then in about 36 odd minutes, we're going to go take a look at the Astrealis. And I think that'll be pretty much where everybody really wants to see. So, yeah, because I spent a lot of time on it. Uh, as I've said, I think I've spent about almost like three weeks, I think, working on it. And uh, I even was like, I even had to like record stuff too. So that's probably even what made it took even longer kind of thing was that like I had to worry about making videos at the same time while also making sure everything's good. And one of the sad things about me and Minecraft is that uh, a lot of the times though, like I will uh, make something in Minecraft and then, or I'll finish something in Minecraft or I'll barely finish it. Then I go... I don't want to finish this anymore and then I'll leave it alone and then it'll be forgotten and then I won't remember that I did it. And it's a very sad thing though, but as I've said before, if you look at the, if you're going to, if you're interested, uh, at around the channel's anniversary, or well, technically channel's anniversary, which is August 8th of 2023, uh, we, I will be showing, I, I will be showing why I have lost most of my interest in the building in Minecraft in general. And this could be because like, and this could mean many different things. Uh, I always had one particular build style, which was that like make all the walls one block kind of thing. There was no such thing as block pallets. I think when I first played, so I never got used to that kind of thing. It was either your walls were wooden planks or cobblestone. There was no interchanging with, uh, what, what is it now? It's like with andesite because they didn't exist. Uh, well, like andesite, cobblestone, uh, tough kind of thing. Like interchanging it. That never existed when I first played Minecraft. And even building in, in something similar to that, that never existed when I first played Minecraft. Like any kind of Minecraft like YouTuber or anything like that, or even if you were to say like a Minecraft channel, never built it that way so i've always like adopted similar styles to that kind of thing where you have the wall all one block type and very rarely will you have like the very corner blocks being different and that's just sort of like how i ended up like playing minecraft in general and then now i'm trying to get out of that sort of like headspace like, now, if you look at Rosaria base, like, now I'm not just making the walls one block. I'm trying to change it into having two or even three blocks now. Or what's the other thing that I'm trying to do now? Um, I think now I'm trying to go with build pallets now. And, well, that's going to be more of a, a secret. It's a secret project that's being done in the background that I'll hopefully not ditch in, like, two two minutes. Go, like, I don't want this one anymore, and then just throw it out. No, no, I kind of like it. Uh, I even asked a friend uh, if he if he liked uh, it as well, and he said he did. So hopefully that might uh, 
inspire me to keep it longer, if that makes any sense. Because as I said, though, like, even if I like the build, that doesn't really change how my mind works in that kind of way. Because, sure, I can like any build that I can create. Like, I can make, like, a pile of dirt, and I'll be like, I love it. And then, like, later on, I'll be like, I don't like it anymore. Then I'll leave it. Then I'll leave it. Then I'll go build something else and build something else. This is what I hated about me playing Minecraft in general. Sorry, I had to adjust the microphone. Uh, this is why I hate about uh, me playing Minecraft was that like I ended up like migrating way too much. I hated staying in the same area for too long because my build style was so simple that I wanted to like migrate too much. And by the end of it, I just got sick and tired of just kept doing that. So I just ended up telling myself, like, you know what? I am I'm done with this. I am out of here. I want to like leave this area and go to a new one. And then I kept doing that over and over again, and then I just got sick and tired of it, and then I just stopped. And that's why for um Rosaria base, or specifically for Circle Craft, that's why we've adopted the rule that like, sure you can build